Hello and welcome to Foresight Sports. This is uh, one of the very best launch monitor facilities in the country and the guys here have given us access to their GC2 launch monitor and I'm here to talk through the new Ping G30 LS Tech. The idea is pretty simple, that if you can uh, reduce spin whilst keeping the launch conditions pretty good, you should result in a little bit more distance. So this is really Ping's uh, answer to that, the, the LS Tech version of the G30 head. The big difference here is that they've just moved that centre of gravity forward, which should help to drop the spin. Now the other key thing that we're going to be able to test with this driver is what difference the length of shaft makes. Now Ping have um, found out through extensive testing and fitting with their tour players that a certain number of their high profile tour players have gone for a slightly shorter shaft. This would be Lee Westwood and Billy Horshaw would be two of them and certainly Bubba Watson who despite his prestigious distances would actually be someone that uses a very short shaft in comparison to a lot of the players on tour. So we have um, this exactly the same shaft but in two different uh, lengths, a slightly shorter one, to see what it does, certainly with the distance and the dispersion, to see if there's any extra performance we can find there. So as you can see behind me, we have the launch monitors ready to go and we're going to give them a good test now. Right in the middle now. The club head speed is basically the same. Club head speed is the same. Ball speed is almost exactly the same. It's actually quite a good comparison that because it shows that the length of the shaft is consistent between the two. So I've had a really good opportunity to do a proper test with the Ping G30, the regular version of the G30, and put it up against the LS Tech version. As you can see from the numbers, the spin rate between the two heads, it goes down significantly with the LS Tech version, and actually the overall distance uh, takes a, a pretty big jump up. So for somebody with uh, that little bit more club head speed, that extra reduction in spin really does translate into extra yards. And actually, something that I noticed from uh, hitting the balls was the ball flight I felt was uh, a little bit better with the LS Tech version. So I'm really happy that the new One technology that Ping have brought into this head, they really cracked it, it really does work. Now, another interesting comparison for me has been between the two shafts. So um, I, the, the shaft that I tested was exactly the same. It's the Ping standard uh, tour shaft that they have, um, but I've tested it in two different lengths, one that's slightly shorter. Now, if you have a look at the numbers, um, whilst the spin rate in the shorter shaft jumped up, I did hit one right, right out of the bottom, which I think accounts for that. What really do does make a difference, I think, is the dispersion is so much narrower with the shorter shaft for me. And I think there's a, an important point to make here. If you do opt for a shaft that is that little bit shorter, you might find that consistency, shot for shot, you are actually a little bit longer. The point being that you are likely hit to hit the centre of the club face that little bit more often. Of course, it's easy when you are testing golf clubs on launch monitors to be sort of wooed by the big number that you're able to achieve, but actually it's that level of consistency, the general, the kind of um, consistent number that I was able to achieve that I really liked about the LS Tech. So the Ping G30 LS Tech uh, is out now and there are three heads in the range to choose from. You have the SF Tech, which is a slightly draw bias version. You have the regular Ping G30 with all the forgiveness and distance built in. And now you have a low spin head. So there really should be something in the current Ping G range that suits every level of golfer, every handicap, every swing speed. So um, it really is a fantastic range with lots of great um, technology built in. So please do keep an eye out for it.